Okay, so combining rules. We've seen so far that you can have any element you want, um, or not element. Yeah, any element you want, you can just use a selector. For example, in this case, the class my box. We can have it here as my box, and then all these properties will be applied to this particular div because it has the class applied. Remember, the dot has to be at the beginning, and it, the rest of the of the class name has to match whatever is in the class property in this tag. So once we press build, you'll see that we have a little baby with, with hello, this is a background, this is an entire div, all of this, and then you have a background. So CSS also has an amazing feature that it's combining roles. So all of these roles are start starting with background something. This one is like the combination actually, but this one is background image. This one is background position, background repeat, background size. So you can basically remove all of this, you can comment it out, and you can just copy the values and pass them into, you can pass them into the first property, the background property, just background. So let's do that. I'm gonna paste it after, before the semicolon, so please put your cursor before the semicolon and then you can paste this oops i forgot to, to copy the parentheses at the end okay then we're going to put the 100 pixels as well then we're going to put the no repeat as well and the last one we cannot put why because if you read here in the instructions it's going to say that the background size cannot be combined the browsers don't support it yet so this last one, I have to leave it as it is. I have to leave it without combination. Actually, I'm gonna delete this one. So let's see what happens then. Let me build again. And there we go, it's still the same, right? Um, and you can see that it works because if I change something, let's say for example, I don't put no repeat, I just put repeat. And I move this to 20, 30 pixels and I press compile again. Now it's repeating, you can see the baby on, uh, you can see that the background is on the back as well, but also the baby is here. If I put zero, you see how it's gonna start on the left side of, there it is on the left, and then it's repeating again here. You can see the little ear here, so it's repeating. So yeah, basically you can combine properties and that's gonna save you a lot of time. Developers are all in into saving time, all the time. And the other one with the padding is the same thing. You can just write padding, and then you will have to copy all the values of all the paddings. But here, it's important that you follow the order. It has to be clockwise, okay? So you start with top, then left, then right, and then bottom. Please remember about that. It has to be following the clock, the same movement that the clock has. If we remove this, you'll see that it has the same padding. Actually, it doesn't has it. Let me see. Top, bottom, 190 was what? Right. Top. I know this is bottom, so bottom goes here and maybe this one goes here another 90 on the right no the right is this one and the left is this one okay so it's top left bottom right top left bottom right yeah so top left my bad is bottom right that's the order that the clock has I forget I uh, I was confused. So now it's like this. You can see that it's on the left. Yeah, it is on the left, that's good. The hello was on the right, on the left side before because the padding was on the right side. Um, padding right would be this one. Oh, maybe it's right first. Let me see. I'm sorry that I forget this. I forgot this, but 